Now then, I always have my ways. It's just a question of how crafty I need to be. To the outsider, the realm of consciousness is a very abstract concept. Luckily, I'm A's familiar, so I can sense her rough whereabouts. In other words, even though I can't pinpoint the exact spatial location of this realm, I can still send you to where A is. So, it's abstract, but has a location, but you don't know where it is, but you can still send us there. What? Yes, no need to try and understand it. Let me put this simply. Right now, she is surrounded by chaos. Everything is turbulent and disordered. If you try to force your way in, you could be swept away by a giant wave that sets you down in an unknown corner of space-time. This is precisely why when entering the plane of Euthymia, it's much safer if you place your consciousness in a physical object first. What? <laughs> All right, well, I might stay here then. You two can go in. <laughs> Suit yourself. Worst case scenario, all we stand to lose is A. So what's the big deal? You... Uh, had it up to here with both of you! Oh, fine! Paimon's coming too. Oh. Well, if you're quite sure, then of course. Now, I shall send you on your way. <clears throat> Oh, nothing. It just seems extraordinarily chaotic, that's all. My suspicions have been confirmed. By the way, remember to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. Only a strong enough will can prevent you from being swallowed by the giant waves of abstract space. Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you to the right destination. Well then, the door is open. Hop on in. I'll stay outside and provide what stability I can. I'll be ready to respond if anything happens. I'm placing my god in your capable hands. For my sake and for Inazuma's, please. Bring her back. Nico, you better know what you're doing! That's enough chatter. Get to work. Remember to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you to the right destination. How can this be? You have returned. But how were you able to get back in? And how come you have not changed at all in all these years? This is a duel to remember. It is as if we have returned to the moment when the laws of eternity were first established. Your will today is as strong as it was back then. Over countless battles, not once have you lost. And never have you shown the slightest hesitation. Had I made all enemies of Eternity stand against you, you still would not have wavered. For your firm commitment to enforcing the rules, you have my admiration too. You bring honor to the title of Guardian of Eternity. Now these two return once more to this space. <laughs> An inevitability of fate, perhaps. Then, let this be our final duel, the conclusion to that which began 500 years ago. 
Final duel? Huh. So you're finally willing to... Stand back, traveler. I'm going to be the start of something new. The time our duels took to fight was long enough to witness the rise and fall of nations. The energy they consume, great enough to vaporize the oceans and turn day into night. And the will they demanded, sufficient to penetrate minds and crush enemies. This is the end. You have won. I believed you were incapable of transcending the past. But it seems my belief was baseless, and I underestimated your spirit. <sighs> but a will that cannot be eroded has no way to embrace the future. You need not worry about the future, and you aren't alone. I know your power more than anyone else. Had I relied upon my strength alone, I would have lost this duel for sure. Yet, my reason for fighting redefined my martial prowess and redrew my limits. I now carry the gaze of the myriad of expectant eyes that look to the light in the heavens. And whenever I think of this, I feel something stirring within Muso Ishin. The blade that I inherited from Makoto seems to be trying to guide me. To encourage me. I noticed it also. Just now, in the heat of battle, it seemed to unleash a new and unfamiliar power. This power is beyond the limits of my understanding. This blade belonged to Makoto. Perhaps it can only respond to me with its full power when I truly understand and believe in her. <laughs> when I clasped Muso Ishin in my hands, I had the feeling that she was by my side once again. It was at once a familiar feeling, and a strange one. Makoto barely wielded a blade in her life, and yet her blade brings me closer to her. You have my approval. Your present will is not the product of erosion. I shall no longer stop you from attempting to modify the rules. From this day forth, this body will remain your assistant. I won't design any more rules that can never be changed. You used to represent my past, but from today onward, you are me. Makoto never saw me as a fearless weapon. Likewise, I should not regard you as a mere tool. Hm. You truly have changed. I suppose this is what humans call... growth. I understand. I shall become your shadow, just as you were once Makoto's shadow. The duties I perform will not change. But as a warrior, I look forward to the chance to fight like this again in the future. Hmm. <laughs> Do you say this because you have not yet reconciled yourself with your defeat? It was simply a new experience for me. One that is worth reliving. Have you finished fighting then? Like, for real this time? 
Hmm? Hello, A. And greetings, those who have come to bear witness. I am Raiden Makoto, the previous Electro Archon, who failed in my duties and left you all to pick up the pieces. Makoto? I'm so happy. You've come so far. I always knew you would make it here in the end. I left a faint fragment of my will in Muso Ishin, so that in the moment that you unleashed its full power, I too would be released. <laughs> a convoluted way to reach you, but... Well, you held such deeply entrenched views at the time that you wouldn't have listened to a word I said. There was no time to wait for you to have a change of heart. Please forgive me. All I could do was find some way to wait until you came to me. But... You never mentioned this to me. Everything happened so suddenly. I'm sorry. I've always felt terrible for having to entrust Inazuma to you all of a sudden. I should have been the one to impart these ideas to you, a little at a time, to dissuade you from your pursuit of stillness. Did you know what was about to happen in Conria? I had some sense of it. That place... was not somewhere that any Archon could afford to ignore. In my present form, I can no longer perceive time. I don't know how long we have been separated before this reunion, and I don't know what Inazuma has experienced in the meantime. But I know that this must have been an extremely arduous journey for you. And I'm sure you must have wanted to shed tears many times along the way. Don't look down on me. <laughs> See? You admit it. It was with this possibility in mind that I left a parting gift for you. Something to soothe Inazuma's pain. Here, take it. Before my last shred of consciousness fades away. But it is you who must take the most important step. tree that blesses the people, in this moment new to the world and yet to be known. When to plant it, where it shall bloom, she who brings it into being must let her heart and dreams decide. Grant it life, eh? Is this... is it really? Eternity extends time into infinity. Dreams illuminate each moment within. When both shine in unison, the sacred Sakura blooms from the darkness, finally free from the clutches of the heavenly principles. Now the nightmare has dissipated, and reality is made whole. The vision we both yearn for is still further ahead. My only regret is that I cannot witness Inazuma's future. Nor can I walk this journey with you. <sighs> Do you know, A? Eh? I am so happy right now. Because my final wish has now come true. Your polearm once protected me from countless calamities. For this, I've always felt indebted to you. Though I could never repay you in full, this sacred Sakura will buy you some time until you are ready to awaken and embrace the new. What do you think? Did it do the trick? <laughs> this time, it really is goodbye, eh? <sighs> goodbye, Makoto.